Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video is a bit of a restorative practice. So if you have a bolster, you want to grab your bolster, don't worry if you don't have a bolster, um, pillows, cushions, rolled up blankets, uh, anything comfy you can get your hands on that you can make into a sort of bolster shape will do the job. Then when you're ready, pop something really comfy in, comfy in, comfy on, put something really comfy on and come join me on the mat. Great, so when you're ready, we're gonna start lying down with the bolster under our knees. So bringing yourself down onto the mat. Have the bolster resting underneath the knees. Or rolled up blanket, cushion, whatever's best. If it feels okay, hands just resting on your center. And just take a moment, let the eyes close. Let the body settle. Tune into the breath. Allowing the center to rise on the inhale. Settle on the exhale. Notice how you're feeling within yourself. Without judgment, try not to apply a story to how you feel. It's very easy to, I don't know, put our feelings into context, give them a story, analyze them, maybe even dismiss them because of that context. Here in our yoga practice, I invite you to simply be aware of how you feel without that story, without judgment, without trying to change it or alter it. Just allow it to be as it is in this moment. Allow the breath to flow easily, breathing in and out through the nose. Feel the body starting to sink into the mat. Consciously allow the body to rest into the pose. Notice if there are any areas where you're holding tension. Maybe the shoulders, it's a pretty common area. Let the shoulder blades snuggle down into the mat. Maybe your hips. Let the hips just release out, falling loose. Maybe the lower back, maybe you can tuck the tailbone a little more. Let the lower back sink into the mat, heavy and supported. Let the feet roll out, relax any tension in the toes. And let your body really settle into this pose. For the last few breaths in this pose, see if you can be any more present in the body and on the mat.
listening to you, gently. Lift the beak up and just slide the bolster if you can with your foot or with your hand to the side so it's out of the way but still close by. And then I'm going to place the feet on the mat, hip distance apart, heels as close to the body so it's comfortable. I'm just going to do a little roll through bridge. Press into the feet, don't worry about lifting up to your full height. Just lift the hips a little way off the mat, moving through the spine. And then exhale, rolling back down again. Push through the feet, tilt the pelvis, tilt the tailbone, lift the hips, exhale, roll back down through the spine, bring the hips back down onto the mat. And we'll just do one more. Bring that bolster back in because we're going to come into a supported bridge. So press into the feet, lift the hips. You might find you want to lift the heels as well, coming up as high as possible and sliding the bolster underneath the hips. So we want the bolster right down towards the tailbone. So it takes a little bit of wriggling, have a little fidget around, especially if you have a buckwheat bolster take a bit of wriggling to get the thumb to be in a comfortable point. As I say, we want the bolster down, right down towards the tailbone, so it's helping to tilt the hips and the pelvis into that posterior pelvic tilt. Hands can rest on your centre or out to the sides. Chin slightly tucked in so the back of the neck is nice and long. If like me you have long hair, you might need to move the hair out the way. And then again, just settle into this pose. Allow the breathing to flow. Again, maybe notice any areas of tension. Maybe sending the breath to those areas of tension. One more breath here. And then press through the feet. Lift the hips. Slide the bolster out of the way. Blow the hips down onto the mat. We'll keep the knees a little hug in. And then however is best for you, nice and slowly bringing yourself up to sitting. Once we're sitting, we're going to grab that bolster and 
rest the bones there on the legs. If it's not comfortable having it on the legs, take the feet wide, pop the bolster in front instead. And we're gonna fold over the bolster. I'm gonna move my microphone out of the way so you don't have the crackling of the bolster too much. Okay, the head can rest down on the bolster if that feels okay. You can always add more padding so you can use cushions underneath the bolster to bring it up a little bit higher. Whatever feels good. Up. We'll move the bolster out of the way. Sitting however is comfortable, we're just going to take a gentle twist. So right hand down behind, left hand on the right leg, looking over the right shoulder. through centre and over to the left. Good. Back to centre. Grabbing that bolster again. You're going to put the bolster <clears throat> lengthways on the mat so it's going across the mat. And we're going to come to lie on our left hip. So you can have the left knee bent and the right leg lengthened away. We want to bring that bolster so it's between the hip and your rib cage, so right into the waist. So go nice and slowly again. It can take a little bit of wriggling to find that most comfortable point, squishing the bolster a little bit. And then your left arm, you can have the elbow down and rest the head in the head or you can stretch that left arm away and bring the right arm all the way up and over. Again, I'm going to move my microphone. The microphones aren't so great for restorative. <laughs> so we're coming into a nice side stretch. At any point, if it's not comfortable having that right arm all the way up and over, you can rest on the side instead or just whatever feels good. space all up the right side of the body. Send the breath into the right rib cage. Use the breath to help create that space. right hand on the bolster. Draw yourself up, left hand onto the mat. Bring yourself all the way up to sitting. Great, 
hopefully that right side feels nice and stretched out now. We can go on to the other side so you can just roll yourself around. I'm just going to switch sides so I'm still facing you. So, rolling onto the right hip, right knee bent, left leg lengthened away. Have a good wriggle of the bolster. Get it in that space between the hip and the rib cage. Left hand, sorry, right hand stretch through. We dress the head in that right hand. And then lowering yourself down. Left arm maybe comes all the way up and over. Or it could rest on the side, on the bolster, wherever feels good. Sometimes with these restorative poses, it takes a bit of wriggling around to find the most comfortable version. Remember as well, one side is often different from the other. So if you find you need to adapt it on this side, adapt it on this side. It doesn't have to look the same on both sides. Once you're back up, our final pose is a reclining cobbler pose. So bring the bolster so it's along the mat. We're going to bring our lower back all the way up to the base of the bolster. Soles of the feet together, knees rolling out. Now you can pop extra padding underneath the knees. You can pop blocks under the knees or cushions under the knees for extra, extra comfort. The bolster, you may find you want to add some blocks, or again, you can use cushions or other bolsters going underneath to create a bit of a slope so you've not got quite so far to lean back. And then when you're ready, hands down either side of the bolster, we lower ourselves back, coming all the way down to our recliner cobbler. You can always pop a cushion under the head. Have a good wriggle. Arms down by the sides. You should feel the chest nice and open, the hips opening. And just let the eyes close. Again, allowing the breath to help settle you into the pose.
judgment. So again, try not to analyze. Try not to analyze any changes that have happened or apply any stories. Just notice with that sense of curiosity any changes that have occurred. or you get distracted, this will naturally happen. Just acknowledge it and then bring the awareness back to the breath. hands under the head to tuck the chin in, bring yourself all the way up to sitting, give everything a little wriggle, bring yourself fully back into the room, maybe taking a big breath in and then sigh the breath out, then again big breath in and then sigh the breath out. The last one. <sighs> Wonderful. Great. So I hope you enjoyed that practice. Let me know how you got on. And um, please do subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will see you here again soon. Om Shanti.